What do you understand by the term animal husbandry? By definition, it is the science of breeding and caring for farm animals. What do we mean by breeding and caring for animals? I am sure you have studied about hybridization of different breeds of animals in lower grades. Why do we employ techniques of hybridization? The answer is quite simple. It is to ensure good qualities of animals which prove advantageous to humans. What all does the management of animals then involve? It involves work in three distinct areas. Animals need to be fed, breeding of animals is planned and diseases that attack animals must be controlled. That seems like a lot of work. Why do we need animal husbandry? As we know, the population of humans is on the rise, it is necessary to provide food for their needs. Animal husbandry takes care of the growing needs of the population to a large extent. Animal husbandry includes different types of occupations like cattle farming, poultry farming and many more. We will study a few in the lessons that follow. In this lesson, we will look at cattle farming. Which animals do cattle include? Cows? Yes, cows and bullocks, oxen, bulls are the most common cattle. What purposes do the cattle serve? They are dual purposed and can you guess what those two purposes are? What is the main thing we get from cattle? Milk, that's right. Cattle farming comprises of milch animals or in simple words, animals that provide us with milk. Milk, as we know, is the crux of the dairy industry. A variety of dairy products require milk as their raw material. However, the milking period of milch animals is very short. How do farmers ensure a constant supply of milk production throughout the year? This can be done by increasing the lactation period of these animals. What do we mean by the lactation period? This is the period during which the mother feeds the young cattle. Where would we find such species of cattle? Do all species have long lactation periods? Unfortunately, that is not the case. Only exotic breeds of cattle have long lactation periods. Such exotic breeds have many desirable qualities apart from long lactation periods. They have excellent resistance to diseases. These exotic breeds have been crossbred to find the ideal type of cattle. However, having exotic breeds of cattle does not ensure good outcomes of cattle farming. Cattle need to be taken care of. This involves a lot of efforts on the part of the owners. They need to make adequate provisions of shelter and food for animals. These shelters must adhere to basic requirements of hygiene. Clean shelters, for instance, are a must. They need proper ventilation. Food, on the other hand, must be provided for two major reasons. First, food should sustain their needs for maintenance of the body. Secondly, Additional food must be provided to suffice their bodily needs for producing milk. Is there anything specific that must be given to cattle? Well, cattle feed must consist of roughage which is nothing but fiber. They should also be provided with micronutrients. This is with regard to their food requirements. What about the need to be protected from diseases? In order to protect cattle from diseases, which can be seen as well as those which are internal, cattle must be vaccinated. They must be closely monitored and proper medical facilities must be made available to them. If all these are in place, cattle farming can be a rewarding occupation. Cattle farming does serve the purpose then. What are the purpose does cattle farming serve? Cattle, as we know, are used as draft animals. Bullocks, oxen and bulls are used for farm labour. What work do cattle do on the farms? They are used for tilling, for driving carts and for irrigation as well. There are two species of cattle that are most commonly used. Do you know what their scientific names are? They are known as Boss Indicus cows and Boss Bubilis buffaloes. The names are quite long, aren't they? Well. We can always refer to them as cattle or cows and buffaloes. With that, we have studied quite a lot about cattle, haven't we? In our next video, we will look at the idea of poultry farming. 
Trust me, you do want to know about this industry which is catching up faster than we know.